Hello and welcome back to our Roach Rebuild series where I am building myself a new gaming PC. Uh, in our last video we went over the parts, we did a motherboard assembly, and we did a test boot. And I've just about gotten done cleaning up all the boxes and things here um, from our test boot. I'm about to head back into the main room and complete the build and finish it. So just a quick intro on that. Um, pretty soon here we're going to cut right to the uh, final time lapse of the build and go all the way through to the end. But uh, just would like to say again, if, you've, if you're if you here for the first time, I would really appreciate a like. I'm just a guy working out of his basement for now. So anything to help me with the algorithm, I would really appreciate. If you could just click that like button, that would mean a lot to me. Uh, thanks, and hope you enjoy the rest of the video.
All right, we got a successful build. Really happy with uh, how everything came together. Uh, we got Windows installing right now. So while we're doing that, I'll kind of go over just the final wrap up. Um, uh, as far as cable management goes, as you can see, I was able to do a lot of it in the process of building. So this was easily the slickest cable management as far as that goes I've ever done. The final product isn't incredible due to the nature of the case being kind of antiquated at this point. But um, with no basement for the power supply, we just got a simple wrap on the thick cables um, to keep them off of the bottom fan. And then just a little wrap on the thin cables to keep them all together. Um, this, I guess I'm just going to leave out like this for now because t putting it back in the bottom and then looping it back over the top, they'd be blocking both of these fans. So I think having it come from under is better. Um, and then we've also got all this airflow space now. So, cause we took the drive cages out, uh, we got our, uh, SSD in there now and our USB-C front panel. Um, so that's ready to go on top was able to do a much better job than the previous of, um, rigging all the RGB together. So this fan is all just tucked in nice and neat right here. These two um, are now daisy chained back behind the case instead of in the motherboard tray like they were previously. And the two front ones have our new fan splitter on them. So um, we've got all this space left over for ventilation. Um, already loving all the USB connectivity I've got back here. I still have a couple ports open and I've got everything plugged in I did before. So that's really cool. Um, yeah, other than that, I'm um, now looking forward to um, getting some stuff installed on here and starting to get my games reinstalled and excited to see what kind of performance I can get with the 4090 and the 7800X3D. Uh, so uh, this is going to wrap up this build video. Uh, if you watched the whole thing, thank you so much. Appreciate you sticking with us. Um, coming soon, we're going to have my brother's uh, commission build. So that's going to be coming. I'm going to be filming it this weekend. I don't know how long it'll take me to get it edited and posted, but uh, we'll be filming that in, in just a couple days. So that'll be up next. And then um, I'm going to be out of town for a little bit. But when I get back, I'm going to be doing the server upgrade and also uh, my friend's uh, commission build with my 3090 and uh, parts left over for my brothers. So please stay tuned to the channel. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next one.